Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Bible Fun with the Duns. We're in John's room today <laughs> in his um, crazy bed. <laughs> There's barely room for him in here. He has so many stuffed animals. A stuffed animal problem. He gets it naturally. You it's know. not a problem. <laughs> it's a great thing. Yes. Okay. Anyway, what are we talking about today, John? We're studying 1 Samuel chapter 23 and 24. Let's get started. Okay, so the Philistines are chasing after David. Um, and um, Saul gets separated from his group because he is um he needs to go to the bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> and so all of David's friends are like. David, this is the, your turn to kill him. But then David's heart feels really bad because he can't kill Saul. And so he just cuts off a corner of his rope. And then after that, he says to Saul, I've cut this. I didn't because I did not want to kill you. And so Saul doesn't do it one more time. Like, kind of well, like, well that's Saul's like, just amazed. He's like, well, you're a better man than I am because... Uh -huh. You, I would have killed yeah. you. It, David, oh. David cutting the robe off shows Saul that he had the opportunity to kill him, but that David um, didn't, couldn't do it, didn't want to do that. He, his heart would not allow him to. Okay, so John, what was your takeaway today? My takeaway was how I liked um, how David did not kill Saul. He's he showed mercy to him. What about you, Jax? Okay, so first I want to point out that this is probably a very awkward moment for David. Yes. Anyway, so my takeaway is very similar uh, because it wasn't very eventful. But anyway, I like how David shows mercy and grace to Saul after all the horrible things he's done. He's thrown spears at him. He's criticized him. He just wants him dead. But then David just couldn't bring himself to kill him. And so he spares his life. Okay, I think that's interesting too. So in the beginning part of this section, so I guess chapter 23. I wonder how it's in there. Okay. I guess in chapter 23, um... The Philistines are coming against them, and David asks God, should we, you know, should we fight them? Would we win the battle if we do fight them? Um, and God says yes. And so my takeaway today, we just see David's interaction with his enemies. And so my takeaway is about that, how God deals with our enemies. He takes care of them for us. So God gives David friends. And an army of people who are on David's side and who help him. God knew that David would need those friends and that army. So God is in charge of taking care of our enemies for us. And it's our job to trust God with that just like David did. David gives us a great example of this. David prayed and he asked God before he did anything. Before he went against the Philistines, he asked him if he should. Um, and he prayed about any of his dealings with Saul and David did nothing without consulting God first. And so this is a good example for me to trust God, to take care of my enemies. When people are not kind or seem to come up against me, um, I can trust God to be the one to take care of them and take care of that situation for me. I don't have to hurry and jump ahead and decide how I'm going to retaliate, how I'm going to get them back. I shouldn't worry about that. Instead, I should go to God with it. So God does the work in the hearts of our enemies and in our hearts. Um, and he takes care of that for us. But our job is to pray to God like David did. Pray for our enemies. Pray about our enemies. And then obey what God tells us to do. And trust God to take care of it. So today's challenge, of course, is about how we deal with our enemies. Are there people in your life that you may have a hard time with? Do they seem like an enemy or do they seem like they don't always want what's best for you? Are they not a good friend? And if so, if you have people like that, let's pray and ask God to help us trust him when it comes to us dealing with those enemies. All right, friends, thank you for joining us today from John's Bay, <laughs> and we hope to see you soon. Bye. Bye.